Okay, now we're finally at where we wanted to be, guys. World versus world. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh. We've, the one we've all been waiting for. It's finally been released, guys. It's the announcement we've all been waiting for. It is Alliances. No, I don't think so. The following changes are part of an ongoing effort. It's a big word. <laughs> to make fighting, more like frightening, fighting for and in objectives feel better for attacking groups. Oh, anyway. As the defender's advantage inside their own structures was previously too strong. While we don't want to swing that advantage completely in the favour of attacking groups, thank God. Bloody hell! We also want to encourage player interaction so that large portions of attacks against structures don't feel like a slog with little payoff. Oh, this patch steadily releases nicotine into my body, eliminating my need for cigarettes. <laughs> Um, okay, so you're gonna, we're going to speed up the process of flipping stuff? Make it easier? FBI, open up! What's going to happen here? We feel that these changes will help to incentivize more player versus player interactions. Oh, crap balls! Run! Lead, Chaka! Lead your master to safety! Hey! Spread out! While still allowing for defensive tactical gameplay. Tactical gameplay? What, you mean snipe the commander? <laughs> you mean build siege? Uh, we've taken control of the oil that we're talking about. You mean AFK in your keep and wait for the enemies to attack? What the fuck are you doing? Did you stop playing? Get back here and keep playing. Are you in the bathroom or something? And you forgot to pause the game? You could be leaving us in a vulnerable situation here. Yeah, of course. We will continue to monitor how these changes affect sieges and structure attacks. All right, okay. All right, we'll see about that. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey. Across all objective tiers, walls and gates will now be rebuilt when 50% of their health has been restored. Build that wall. Build that wall. Guys. We can't troll people with building walls anymore. You know when you can build the wall a little bit? And then the, the wall goes back up? You know, you just put a little bit of supply in it. Yeah, just a little bit. We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. We have no choice. 10%. Just a little bit and the wall goes back up. You can't troll your team anymore, guys. You need 50% back in it now. Okay, so that means less trolling means more. That means less fun. Okay, so they've nerfed fun. And also they've nerfed su they've, they've nerfed supply because now you're going to build. You're going to use more of the supply to build the wall. So now you've made it less fun for the wall builders because the wall builders don't even get rewards for building the wall. And now they're going to have to build the wall to 50% to get it back up. So actually, they, you've made the game less fun. That's a bad change you're reading it. I'm not sure who decided on that. But I'd like the name of the person who decided on that. Or the names of the people that agreed that that was a good change. That's a bad change, by the way. It's a bad change. Yeah, but, yeah, but Perish, what you don't m remember, right, is if your defenders, right, will lose all their supply in the wall to repair it and then they'll have no supply for siege and then you can go in it and flip it true true fuck them that's true yeah you're right use all the supply to build the one wall and there's like five other walls that are down they're going to use all the supply which means you just go in there into tier 3 sm and take it easy true what a great change i'm convinced you fucking you've persuaded me okay let's find out what else is the what else they've changed Several objectives capture boundaries have been resized in four maps. Wait, there's more than one map? Huh? What the? Wait a second. No, I don't think so. I think it's just EB. <laughs> Resource camp capture boundaries are now the same size in all four maps. Wait, they weren't the same size? With two outliers. Rogue's Quarry... The Green World's Northern Camp in Eternal Battlegrounds and Hammer's Lab in Northern Camp in the Desert Borderlands remain unchanged. 
generally this is the reduction this is a reduction in capture boundary size for the alpine borderlands and eb camps and an increase for the desert borderland camp okay interesting please go the fuck to sleep Capture boundaries in Odell, Crankshaft, and Parched Outpost, Northwest, Southwest, and Southeast Desert Borderland have been reduced. Oh, so you've made it smaller so the cloud can't contest as easy, and it means you've just buffed buffed blobs even harder. Oh shit! Insane, guys. Give more power to the organized. Why don't you? Stone Mist Castle's capture boundary has been reduced and centered. Wait, what? The, the boundary around Stone Mist. Was it not centred? Why wasn't it centred? You should fucking put it in the middle, yeah? I agree. Uh, capture boundaries for Green World Keep, Red World Keep, and Blue World Keep in EB has all been reduced. Wait, they reduced the keeps? Oh, shit. No more keeps, guys. Oh, just the boundaries. Sorry, my bad. Capture boundaries for garrisons in Alpine Borderlands have been reduced and centred. Oh my god. They've been hard at work, haven't they? Capture boundaries for the Dreadful Bay, Ascension Bay in Alpine Borderlands has been reduced and now match those of the Shadowran Hills and Ascalonian Hills. Wow, that's something that I couldn't... You know what I was thinking last night? Can't sleep. I thought those boundaries are starting to piss me right off. <laughs> Synthesizers and Tactivators locations have been moved into my mouth. Good evening, and in a way, welcome. And I'm here to reassure you that yes, this will eventually end. Uh, into most camps to ensure that they are still inside the capture boundaries. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Thank God. Say your prayers to Jesus over here. <laughs> um, who cares? I guess that's great. I, I, I mean, thanks. Who asked for this? There was a black guy named Earl Charles who was there when it happened, and he has a famous quote from that very moment. He said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> presents. Oh, finally, we get some presents? No, that, not that type of presents, guys. Just just a presence of the keep and the guild of, uh, objective or a bonus. It's been nerfed, and it's crazy nerf, actually. It's, it's funny how we can be years and years of playing this game. And you have this 100 stat for all these stats, bro. And they finally, in the year 2024, 12 years later, bro, they've nerfed it. Not by 1.2, 0.1. No. It's plus 25 instead of 100, boys. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That's fucking crazy. Have they nerfed Dragon Banner? I'm expecting them to nerf Dragon Banner after that. They're just going full craziness now, aren't they? They're going all in. The empower healing skill that was added in Keep Lords in Borderlands and EB will now grant stability to allies. <gasps> what the fuck? My life is nothing but a comedy. No one ever no no one no one's contesting in the Lord Room anyway, bro. No one's getting that stability. Who is ever going into the Lord Room, bro, and then seeing that the empowered healing skill is being used by the Lord? Is anyone looking at that, dude? Dude, that lord is getting farmed by some big blob. You look at it and you go, unlucky. And then you stand in the corridor and you just... Who the fuck is... Who's going in to contest in the small circle to get that stability? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let me get stability. Oh, shit. How long is that stability lasting? Um, Two seconds, by the way. Maybe. Because you're instantly ripped because you're on top of the... Just come over here for this stability. I've got a nice... It's like this fucking... There's a white There's a white van outside. And he's... Wind down his window. Hello. Cool. I've got some sweeties in the back of my van. <laughs> I've got some sweeties in the back of my van. Get, hop into my van. You have some sweeties. What the fuck are they thinking? What the fuck is this game about? And not going into the circle to contest for some stability. Are you are you stupid? It's gonna be dis it's gonna disappear as lot along with your life and your KDR. I swear this change is, is troll as fuck. This must be April Fool's Day, surely. What is going on? Uh, siege golems no longer cause any damage to anybody because because violence is bad. And now siege golems will spread kindness with presents 
and glitter. It'll give you stability when you go near it. If you take a fist to the face, it'll give you one stack of stab. Siege golems no longer cause capture objectives to be contested in Wild vs. Wild. Flame rams will now give the user... Uh, stability. No, what? Flame rams iron wield skill now shares a cooldown between players. Well, wow, that's fucked, isn't it? Uh, F in chat goes for all of the will, uh, iron will skill abusers. F in chat, Miko, unlucky. The siege disabled effect marker has been removed from siege weapons affected by siege disruptors. Yeah, that was confusing because people didn't understand what was going on. If you didn't read the patch notes back in the day, they've changed siege disablers to siege disruptors. And now, basically, siege, it takes more damage. You can kill it faster, but it doesn't disable the siege. And people were, like, disabled and they were running around. And they thought they couldn't use skills and stuff. And they're like, just, like, running around panicking. Yeah, it's, it's, you're not disabled, guys. You can still use the siege. It's, remember to use those siege disruptors. They are very, very, very strong. Insanely strong. You can take out siege very quickly now. Um, if you can reach it. The next few changes continue from a recent update that added a new bag options with Grandmaster Mark Shards, including in the price. Our goal for this and for updates from last year is to give World vs. World players more options for spending their World vs. World currencies. Oh my god, I'm getting hyped. And improve quality of life for currency exchange in World vs. World. I'm getting, I'm getting hyped, guys. Will we be able to get cheaper bags in World vs. World than just crafting bags? Is this a big change, boys? This could be a big change. I could be getting big bags. Are we getting big bags? We felt that a surplus of memories of battle specifically brought the price down too far and that there were not enough opportunities to spend them. We will continue keeping an eye on this vendor and other new purchase options to determine whether we need to make further updates. Proof of heroics and testimonies of desert heroics now can be traded to heroic notaries in exchange for testimonies of jade heroics. Ah, you can do it the other way. Oh. oh, you can do it the other way. All items offered by heroic notaries have been updated to require testimonies of jade heroics. Ah, memories of battle are no longer available for purchase from Dugan. Who the fuck was buying memories of battle from Dugan? Ain't no way. Who the devil was doing that? And some of the merchant's purchasing options have been updated. Oh. An option to exchange boxes of Grandmaster Marks for Grandmaster Mark Shards has been added to the Skirmish Supervisor. Um, that wasn't the change that I was hoping for. I was hoping for the cost to make bags in World vs. World would be, would be cheaper. Because it makes no sense to have it this costing the same, the same price. It just makes no sense. Right, let's get to the nitty gritty of the Profession City. It's skills. It's balance update. It's it's a megalos maybe. Engineer. Did they buff scrapper? Did they nerf DPS NG hollow? For whatever reason, we'll find out. Gleam saber. Fixed an issue that caused this skill to reduce the recharge time of radiant arc by three seconds when the hollow smith elite pres blah, 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 specialization was not equipped. Okay, it's a bug. Photonic blasting module. Photonic blasting module. Ripperino reduced the damage coefficient by 3.5 to 2.5 in World vs. World only. There we go. Overheat has been nerfed, boys. Which means what? Means you need more Hollow Smiths. Or, alternatively, you just need more players. You know, can't kill bigger groups with a smaller group, guys. That's okay, don't worry. We'll nerf damage and we'll just buff the bigger groups, guys. It's fine. Um, it means that more DPS specs could be playable if they start nerfing the, the outstanding performing S tier DPS classes in World vs. World. So it's not a bad thing, it's just a bad thing in terms of the meta with all the boons. Because you start nerfing damage, it means the fights are going to last even longer. And the fights were lasting way too long already. Two minute fights or, uh, were happening already. Two minutes of fighting. It's just two minutes of fights, two minutes of fights, two minutes of fights. That's fine. But commanders were running out of oxygen and health and safety, sorry, of the commanders. I believe that two minutes of fighting is enough. It's already way too much. Also, I don't want to hear the commanders shouting the same things for two minutes, uh, more than two minutes. Two minutes is enough. 
Okay, give me a break. Okay, give me a break. Cleave here, cleave here, bomb in here, bomb in here, bomb in here, cleave in here, cleave in here, cleave in here, bomb in here, bomb in here, bomb in here, bomb in here, cleave in here, cleave in here, cleave in here, move left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 oh my god, I'm a mower, 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 I can't move, I can't move, I'm stuck, 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 like, just give me a fucking break, bro. You on drugs? I'd like it if they brought up the damage of other DPS classes to a level where they're viable and on par with the other DPS classes. Prime light beam. Fixed an issue that caused this skill to strike 10 targets instead of the intended 5. Wow. That's a huge nerf, boys. You were already padding with that. Well, not anymore. Less padding. Um, it's still going to do decent damage. Is Hollow Smith dead? Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you something really simple. I'm going to show you today how do you log off a computer. To download and install Guild Wars 2. Oh, we'll find out, boys. We'll find out. Essence of animated sand. Reduce the barrier healing power coefficient. Wait, why would you do that? Why are you nerfing the barrier healing power coefficient on Essence of animated sand? What are you doing? Reduce the initial might from 5 to 2. Why are you nerfing that? That is insane to me. That is insane. No one is fucking nerfing... You're nerfing damage, and then you're nerfing barrier. Huh? That makes no sense whatsoever. You're nerfing damage, then you're nerfing healing. It, you basically, you might as well just do nothing. Okay, no one was playing Scrapper, support Scrapper. Could it be meta? Yes, it could be. Is it easier to give barrier than to react and heal somebody? Absolutely. Why would you nerf it? I don't get it. Why would you nerf Scrapper? I don't understand why you'd nerf it. Um, this must be an NA thing, bro. This has got to be an NA thing. They must be playing scrappers in NA. I'm 100% sure. They're not playing heal vindies for some reason. Essence of living shadows. That's because they're running away. Or, like, they need a super speed, don't they? They're all running away. Um, essence of living shadows. Reduce the initial condition cleanse. Wait, they nerfed Condi cleanse on it as well. That's crazy. That's actually insane. Essence of Liquid Wrath. Fix an issue that caused the tooltip to display longer durations than intended. Okay, that's whatever. Bulwark Gyro. Increase the cooldown from 20... And that's another big hit to Scrapper in terms of the... Wait, what? They nerfed the barrier as well. Reduce the initial barrier healing power coefficient and the pulse... What? They've nerfed it massively. Why? That's insane. That's got to be an NA thing. People aren't using it over here. EU, EU players, are, we're, we're using heal Vindies over here. We're not using Scrapper. I honestly think Scrapper is very, very good. Could be S-tier support. But after these changes... All right, here's another big one. Another huge nerf for, to Guardian. Symbol of protection. Will this stop people from playing Hammer Guardian on reset when it's laggy and the only thing you can do is auto attack? I don't think so, guys. It's a reduced symbol damage coefficient of 0.4 to 0.25. I still think Guardian will be decent, especially that the fact that you've nerfed Hollow Smith. I don't think it's an issue. But again, once Just again, CNA is full of clowns, stupid woke clowns. They're constantly insulted by barriers and the fact that there's a healing skill. Honestly, once again, guys, I think that again, you're not nerfing boons. You're nerfing DPS. You're nerfing healing. It's a really weird change. I don't get it personally. Um, yeah, I don't get it. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how that plays and what sort of damage that's doing. But I still think it's going to be a very good class. Guardian's still going to be very good. Hammer's going to still be very good. Auto attacking is going to be very, very good. Um, especially with the meta, it's not changing. If you're nerfing damage, then the China meta is going to be here to stay. You're still, you've still got the boons. You're nerfing healing a little bit on Scrapper. That's fine. Heal Vindy's not touched. So. The meta is still here. It's still China meta. It isn't, isn't going anywhere. Um, it's just going to be China meta for longer. All right, here we go. Mesma. Did they nerf Mesma? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <gasps> what the fuck? I'm looking. I'm looking, boys. Oh, shit. It's a nerf. Wait, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Is it an... Oh my god, it's a nerf. Wait, Firebrand has just got buffed, boys. This is it, boys. I just I just made a Firebrand build. It's on YouTube. Go check it out. It's even better now because Mesmer's got nerfed. Another reason to play Firebrand over Mesmer. 
fixed an issue that prevented the shimmering visual effect from appearing on the skill bar for characters using the Mirage Elite Specialization. Big fix. And now here's the big nerf. Chaotic Transference. This trait no longer shares Chaos Aura with nearby allies. Wow! That means less weakness means more DPS, guys. So they've nerfed DPS classes, but they've nerfed Chaos Aura. So this could be a great change. Actually, I didn't foresee them doing this. I didn't anticipate... I did not anticipate them doing this. So actually, by nerfing DPS is fine because they've actually nerfed Chaos Aura, which means more damage. It's fine, guys. Less trash shit on you. Fucking amazing, guys. Were you a ranged player and you're just randomly hitting a Zerg and you're getting random condies on you? Yeah. No more Chaos Aura. There'll still be Chaos Aura, obviously. There'll be Chrono Monster. There'll be Mesmers in there still, but less. Less, guys. Will it be less lag? Will it be less like? Mender's Purity. Lesser Power Cleanse no longer triggers restorative mantras. I wasn't taking that trait anyway, so who cares? Right, Journey. This is a rifle skill. Reduce the base healing and reduce the power co- uh, the- Ah, uh, this is PvP changes. Healing power co Okay, so they're nerfing Rifle, Mesmer, uh, Chronomons, or whatever build you're playing. Um, I think it's Chrono, right? In PvP. So you've got nerfed uh, Abstraction skill and Journey, which is the- The two and the three. Um, so I guess Bunker, Chronomancer has been- has been touched a little bit for PvP. Wow, that's a big change to Mesmer, guys. That's just a big change. That Chaotic Transference is a huge change. Ranger. Did they nerf my build, boys? Did they nerf my build? Live vicariously. This trait is no longer activated by pulsing healing effects such as, such as regeneration. Okay, that's a nerf. Um, flourish. Reduce the base healing in PvE only. Reduce the healing power coefficiency. And reduce the regeneration duration. Okay, PvP only. Um, invigorating bond, reduce the base healing and coefficiency and so on and so on and reduce the protection duration in PvP only. Okay. Um, Revenant. Are we getting a big buff to Rev? Let's go. True Nature. Fix an issue that caused this skill to accidentally cast immediately after activating the facet of Nature. Um, okay. It's interesting they didn't do anything else to Revenant. I would imagine that they would have buffed, buffed maybe, maybe Hammer Rev. Maybe a little bit. It's not feeling that great. It deserves a little bit of a buff, I think. Um, okay, here we go. Warrior. What the fuck are they doing with Warrior, boys? Because they touched Hollow Smith. Are you they touching Berserker? And it's actually true emo. It is, isn't now it? now we use high barrier builds. We had a fighter scrapper alone got 7.1 meters barrier and 2.2 meters. meters healing. And that was creating a two bunker build. Because those guilds were also using a spectre for upkeep perma quickness. So Vins could strip all the stab and upkeep barrier capped. That sounds gross. If I understand correctly, Arenu is trying to get rid of Boon Ball meta, but they chose some liberal woke way to nerf haphazardly, apparently with the help of woke bingo and taking a team of cheap psychic astrologers to work out the balance. <laughs> Fucking morons. Oh, that's great, man. That's great. Right, let's have a look. Path to victory. Reduce the damage coefficient from 1.25 to 0.91 in PvP only. Reduce the base healing from the uh, adrenal level in PvP. And the healing power coefficient in PvP. So that's all PvP stuff. Um, line breaker also nerfed. Bullet catcher also nerfed in PvP. Snap pull increased the casting time by 0.15 seconds. Hmm. Snap pull is pretty good. Um, so I can see why they did that. And is that that's all in it's in all game modes because they didn't specify. And then finally, the big one, boys. Scorched Earth reduced the number of targets from five to three. Oh, they've nerfed Berserker Warrior. Big boys. You know, I actually kind of like these changes to Hollow and to Berserker. Even though the meta is bad and is boony and it, the fights are lasting too long, in my opinion. Yeah, the fights might last longer. Less Chaos Aura now, so we don't know. We'll have to see how it plays. But with nerfs to Warrior and Berserker... Um, sorry, Berserker. And to Hollowsmith, Overheat, and Prime Light Beam. I feel like that's a good thing to do. And DPS, we, can now, we can now bring in the other DPS classes. You know, it's, it's fucking time, man. I'm sick and tired of seeing the same DPS. People want to play different classes, surely. You must be bored, guys, playing the same DPS specs. It's time to play Ellie. It's time to play Vindicator. It's time to play Ranger, guys. It's time to go to EBG. It's time to fucking log into Guild Wars 3. Time to log off for Guild Wars 2. Yo, that was good timing, wasn't it? That was that was almost like professional. That was almost like perfect. 
Well, there we go, boys. Someone's praying to the spirits. They rarely answer. Well, let's all pray that we get a less boons, maybe. Or maybe some buffs to other DPS classes. Let's see how it plays over the next couple of months with no Chaos or a spammy spam. Time to make new builds, guys. Start cooking. Get in the kitchen. Let's go.